Yeah. We take a look at the tail of the tape. Vila at 42 years of age, one of the older fighters on anybody's card. He is the shorter fighter as well, but he does have a two inch reach advantage over Honario. We don't know if that will play much into Honario's game if he gets it on the ground, but again, Vila, the wrestler, has seven of his 13 wins by way of knockout. Yes, and I get the, the, two, the two inch and a quarter reach advantage in the hands. I think with a guy who has knuckle power in his hands could make a big difference. Let's go to Jazz now with the official introductions. Here we go, World Series of Fighting fight fans. This fight is scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting flyweight division. And now introducing fighting out of the blue corner, his record, eight wins, four defeats. He stands five feet and seven inches tall. He weighed in at an even 126 pounds. He fights out of the fighting city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, introducing Sidemar, Sidco Honorio. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His record, 13 wins versus four defeats, seven coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet, four inches tall, and also weighed in at a 126 pounds even. He fights out of Miami, Florida, an Olympic bronze medalist presenting Alexis the Exorcist. And when the Decagon cage door closes, your referee is Jorge Ortiz. Here we go. Scheduled for three rounds. Flyweights. Honario. And the shorter gray trunks in the green is Vila. Vila, I expect him to be very explosive. You can already see him bouncing around. He's going from zero to 60 in the 0 0.2 seconds or something. He's there. Well, with flyweights, you just kind of wind them up and they go and go <laughs> yeah. and go. Give him a little drum. Well, now we'll try to measure that kick, missing with it. Feeling each other out. Who's got the longest reach? Well, we know that on paper, but you know, who uses his body more? Maybe Honorio rotates his upper body more, so that will make his reach also longer. There's a lot of factors. Here. And he's obviously the taller fighter as Vila comes in and misses with a couple. Very, very nicely done by Honorio. Moving to the side, never straight back. This is very important, especially against the wrestler, because then they can take a clean shot. Saw him on the World Series of Fighting back in September. Bonario, who yeah. suffered a decision, lost to Rivera. It was a very tough fight. Flips that kick out, doesn't affect Vila. No, but it came very close already. He's come close now twice, he just missed. That one touched him a bit. Finding his range, slowly but surely, he drew his plan against him. In a world <laughs> where that kick is going in, this fight would end that fast. By the way, good takedown defense from Monorio here, uh, like a couple of seconds ago. Double underhook, pulled the him back up and was out to reach again. Figure training in Henzo Gracie's outfit, you uh, probably have seen a few yeah. submission attempts. Yeah. A few takedown attempts over his training time. You better believe it. There's that high kick again. You know, a nice thing would be setting it up with a punch. And then you can see what you're gonna do because if you punch and he moves back a lot, you don't kick. But if he just moves outside your reach, then it's time for that high kick. He's used that kick almost like a jab at times, boss, to yep. keep Vila away. 
You know, just to show them it's there. You know, if you want to shoot, maybe you're going to walk on a knee. Maybe something happens with the kick. You know, get inside the head of his opponent. You know, when you fight a wrestler, it comes to you fake that you're going to throw a knee. You know, it make him, makes him think uh, twice. Now, wait a minute, if I shoot and he throws a knee, I might get the knee in my, uh, on my chin, you know. So There's nothing worse than getting, putting doubt <laughs> in somebody's head. This is weird because you know Vila has a longer reach. Oh, Vila oh. now slams Honorio to the canvas. Yeah, first takedown of the fight. Now Vila also lost one fight by submission. Here comes an attempt already. Look at this. Oh, oh. And up almost as quickly, Vila with three submission victories. Honorio with two submission wins. But I would say trading with Andrew Gracie and those guys there, Honorio probably. He'll be better on the ground. He's got longer limbs, you know, better setups for triangles, for everything, body locks, putting body locks on. That all will favor him. Of course, uh, getting locked up in a straight arm bar when you've got longer limbs, that's maybe not so good. When you look at their, their bodies, you, you would never say that Vila has the reach advantage, right? It looks, oh, nice front kick there to the face. Looks to me like Honorio has the longer reach, longer arm. It does, he's the taller fighter for certain by yep. about almost three inches, but he does look like he has more of a reach. Now grabbing the single leg is Vila. Yeah, Vila knows, I don't want to go down. Not yet, yeah, he's right, he doesn't even want to go that way at this moment. He respects his ground game. Half a minute. Well, Mario has come close with those kicks. He's thrown probably eight or ten of those right now, I would say, in this fight. He uh, came close. He, uh, the front kick was a hit. You know, the high kick started getting on the defense now. So that's a good sign. He lets his opponent miss the kicks. Vila trying to fly in to no avail, and round one comes to an end. And again, good luck judging that one. Honario feels he did well in that round. I think so too. I think he connected with more. Two more kicks that connected, whether it was on the defense or not. He sets up that armbar, but he pulls it. Vila's gonna pull it out right away here, pretty much. Oh, oh. Vila with the only takedown in the fight. As we look in on the corner of the former Olympic wrestler from Cuba, makes his home now in Miami. Yeah, he hit another takedown, but he didn't do anything with it. He said, you know what? Uh, get back up on the feet. What do you think they're saying in Honorio's corner right now after that first round, boss, as we look at? D you're doing a good job. I would, I, I would say start uh, adding a kick after a punch instead of single kicking. You know, blind the guy, keep him busy with, with your punches, and then flip out a high kick. What about a left, a left straight to the body with the right high kick? Those things are very tricky. A lot of guys bring their hands down at the moment you do that. And then you go on top with the head kick. And we go to round two. Vila needs to go in and out faster. He needs to look for the clinch, and he needs to work from there. Maybe a clinch position. So raining down knees uh, to the legs, what I mean. That's why I'm saying raining down, not up. Because those are very effective for a shorter fighter. Vila in the green trunks. This fight scheduled for three rounds. That first round, possibly to Honorio. Yeah, when I say I'm asking. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Kenny. I, I, I was know. still with my, my yeah. thing. It, it, this is a hard one. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I was still with my comment when I said, you know, raining down knees to the body is, is, is better for a, a shorter fighter. That is, of course, when it's in the clinch. That's what, what I was talking about. I was still with my head in there. But, you know, I, I, this is a very hard one. I think Honorio might have taken the first round. There. That was your question, I hope. It was. Oh, good. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, that was good. I know, I, I was thinking. Well, it's kind of like the rhythm of this fight. It's really a strange fight, isn't it? We've had kicks thrown, but no damaging, no damaging strikes. We had one takedown. It didn't last long. Yep. Uh, a weak submission attempt. Uh, but it's an entertaining fight, you know? You figure at any moment something big could happen with these little guys. That's the thing. You know, that's the thing. We had the front kick to the face. It was not full on, but it, it, it connected. But also strikes, now I think about hand, hand strikes. Didn't really connect yet. But you know, if two fighters really, you know, 
uh, respect the power of the other guy, then you most of the time have a situation like that in the first round. But we saw that with Honorio, suddenly he came closer and closer and closer, you know. He starts to find the reach of his opponent. That's the whole trick in fighting. They need to start working harder, though. Because otherwise they're going to get a, a warning by the referee, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two minutes in. This is more of a dance than fight now, trying to pick it up. As Fila pushing the action against the fence and picking Boom. up Honorio and slamming him down. Beautifully done. He tried to stay in the side, Mom, but Denario waved it good, put his knee right away in, got him. And again, right back up to takedowns, but they didn't last long on the counts. You know what, in the eyes of the judges, here we go again. Are those takedowns going to count? Many times we see they are. That's in total three takedowns now for Vila and none for Denario. Then again, he couldn't do anything with the takedown. So in my book, they shouldn't count it. But it's mine. It's a really weird book also. Well, it would be a great book when it comes out. People are clamoring for the boss room story, you know. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea, maybe, yet. <laughs> We've got to be a little older, and my daughters have to be older. <laughs> Moved away? Yeah. And well, then you got the grandkids. See, it'll always be something. Yeah. Yeah. Grandpa did it. <laughs> Yeah, you, you got to be there. That, yep. that, that would be a tough one to come back from. Anario, again, we saw him miss a few seconds ago with that front kick. And he, he looks, he looks like he's just about to get it measured. Nice. That's a low kick, nice one. You And uh, you know, the reason why he fell is that he tries to move away from the low kick. And the only thing to do that is to shift your weight upwards. You know, you're going to be weightless for a moment. And then if you're going to get kicked at that moment, that's why you fall. Sometimes a fun thing to do is let your leg get kicked by a right low kick, then slam your upper body to the right, keep moving with the low kick, and add a back fist. That might trick the opponent sometimes. You have to make sure that the opponent kicks with his shin and not with his foot, otherwise he's going to stay out of reach. Out of reach. And again, that nice high kick there, it's there. It's, it's right now, it's getting on the defense, it's in, it's in range. When the defense won't be up, it's going to connect. Last 30 seconds. Vila's corner telling him to pick it up. He's got to take this round. Reaches out for a left, and that was a, more of a hopeful than a real punch. Yeah, it was, it was a hook, but it started on the jaw, so it didn't have any speed. It couldn't develop any speed. Final seconds of round two. There it is. One more to go between these flyweights. There you see Sidmar Honorio and Alexis Vila in the green going back to the respective corners. And the action boss in that there last round. The double leg to the side, look, whoop. Very nicely done, but right away Honorio, she puts his left knee in there. And uh, now Vila knows, so I have to watch out here. Honorio right away started attacking, which gave him space to get back up on his feet. I would think Vila's behind now. Even though he's got the, uh, the takedowns, the three takedowns, are they really going to count as much? I don't know. If you really have to start counting strikes seconds and not, as, not many out. land, then you should count the strikes that almost land, I would say. Right? Seconds oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, back and as we know, I can't. This could be the so broken right. record, but it's that's always right. that way. And I understand the frustration these guys fight. They do their game plan. They think they're winning the fight. But if they don't finish it, then it's always, not always, but most of the time, it's a flip of the coin. You don't know what judge, like you say. Do you get credit for the takedown or the fact that it was just they went to the ground briefly and Sidemar get it right back up? Yep. Yep. Vila in the green here in the third round as we go. Onario, who has just missed and missed with kicks. 
That low kick was a nice low kick, though, a minute ago, full of the shin. He has thrown several of those. This fight would be over kind of high kick if he could have just landed it. Yeah, you see Villa really want to close the distance. He needs to take down. He knows if he can take this fight two more times to the ground, keep it a little bit on the, on the ground, maybe he's going to favor his way. Oh, look at that. And to the ground we go for the third time. I thought he was going to go right into a submission the way he set that up. I think no, he, was he looked like something he was ready, ready didn't he? There we go, arm bar attempt. Oh! He's got it, he loses it. That was nice because he, he, right back. he looked up the arm. It wasn't close at all, but then he shifted his hips suddenly to the shoulder and became much closer. And you can see a smile there. We saw all the mouth guard of Vila there momentarily. He was acknowledging Hanario. And now he tries to cut down the cage and try to force the action against the fence. Nothing doing that time for Vila. Hanario's doing a great job. Threw another really big right low kick just before that exchange. And he's defending the takedown the whole time. Now getting in the head of Vila by shooting for his own takedown attempt. And he keeps flipping that high kick out there. Does it's not come close to connecting most of the time, but it's been in effect his way of throwing a jab almost because it keeps Vila back on his heels. Yep, and it's on his defense, close to the head. If Vila forgets one time to put his head up, that could be a big problem. Nice movement to the side here again from Honorio. Moving away from the takedown and from the striking, of course. Halfway down, last round. You see, he's doing that more, you know, grabbing that kick pretty much, pushing to the side and countering with another kick. It's like the third time he did this. Oh, he slipped. Vila goes like, nah, I'm not gonna go to the ground. Now Vila says, let's get up. Vila may be thinking knockout at this time. I don't know how confident he is that he would be ahead on a card. Yep. And it goes back to the ground. Yep, that's another takedown. That's four in total now. But again, nothing's happened so far. He can't do anything with the takedown. That's the problem. Oh, well, you gotta watch out for the head. Yeah, that would be an illegal move. By the way, we're here in uh, Florida. Elbows to the top of the head are also illegal here. And in striking positions, uh, striking position kicks to the knees are illegal as well. That's the only little change, two little changes they have here in the MMA rules. So now we're approaching a minute to go in this fight. Anario looking very comfortable on the ground right now. Chopping his legs there. <laughs> Those you're gonna feel. You see, who, 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 who really had the upper hand here? On the ground, right? I mean, Anario yeah. is fighting back as well. So wisely, they stand him back up. You and see? now they go back down. And there was another takedown. That's five, six, six, they tell me here. Vila trying to throw some punches. Bonario with that strong Brazilian jiu-jitsu background, one of those Henzo Gracie disciples, just so confident, he's right back up, looks very poised. Final seconds of this fight. Interesting tempo in this whole fight, boss. You know, it, yeah, had, it had some... He didn't quite have that full rhythm for either guy, Seymour. No, there was not one shot that really connected. Like a clean shot we didn't see. You know, this is a hard one. Vila thinks he did enough. Yep. Honario thinks he did enough. It would be hard to argue with either man right now, as you said. How unusual is it to see a fight like this, especially with the lighter weight guys? They usually go at it that no one landed 
a real strong punch or kick in this whole fight. Yeah, that is uh, kind of weird. But there you can see that both these guys respect each other a lot, you know? And that's why they stayed a little bit too much on the outside. Outside the reach, that means, from his opponent, from their opponent. There's Alexis Fila. Side Marinario. And they wait for the judges to make the call. Here's some of the highlights in this fight. There's a takedown, one of several, by Vila. Maybe he thinks that's what gave him the edge in this fight. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure, because uh, history tells us that that's always the case. You know, and uh, you can fight it, but then again, it is what it is. Look, both these guys are here striking from the back, so you're gonna go, okay. And then on top of that, submission attempts from the person on the bottom. To me, that counts as well. Now in Japan, those rules, that counts as well. They, they, they have the same thinking that I have. But here they don't have that yet, so. So Saitama Hanario, who knows about losing tough decisions, he's already lost one in his WSOF debut back in September. Looking for his ninth win, Vila looking for his 14th career win. And it's hard, you know, if you fight a really good wrestler, you don't want to start throwing big combinations because you set yourself up to be taken down. The judges have reached their decision. It's in the hands now of Jazz. Let's go to him with their verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have completed three rounds of action and we will go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Hope Hector Gomez and Tim Veneta score 29-28, and Elicio Rodriguez scores at 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Alexis, the Exorcist Vila. Strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. 